Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Megha and I am a watercolor artist based in Bangalore, India. And today we are going to paint a simple house plant. And I also take classes on Skillshare and this is my latest class which I have uploaded on Skillshare. You can find a link to it below and if you would like to see it, you can check it out and you can watch it for free using my link and not even my class, thousands of other classes if you join Skillshare. Other than that, you can find me anywhere on any social media by the name by the art bug and so let's start with our painting for today. Let's have a look at the materials. Here I have my pencil to draw a little bit, not too much. And then I have my brushes and my number eight round brush, clean water, my Winsor and Newton watercolor set and watercolor paper here, which is cut into a small piece because I'm doing a mini version. So let's start with it. All I want to do is just lightly draw a small pot. So just a single pot like this. And the top part, I'm just very, very light. Just like this, very simple, not too much. And then we are going to paint the pot first. So I want to do a little terracotta style on this. So I'm taking my burn tumbler here. I already have a little red here. So just this burnt tumbler and then I just mix it up with this cadmium red here. Like this. So this is the color I'm going to get. Then I will Start from one side. So I'm just doing wet on dry. So wash the brush and dry it nicely and then just spread this color if you don't want any hard lines you have to be faster when you do this So we assume that light is coming from this side so this will be a little lighter this will be a dark, little darker drop in some more color i'm also adding a little bit patches here and there just so that it looks more natural using my burnt tumbler for the bottom just to make it look a little darker and same thing again more burnt umber so darker one on the top here now this I'm not doing all the way, leaving the space. While painting, if you get like this stains, just drop some clean water and scrub them gently and then just take it back. I 
absorb it all in your tissue this will help you lighten it now let's move on to the plant so it's a very loose style plant so I'm taking here my sap green just dropping it here so this is the first then second one we will use directly from here and the third we'll just add a little bit of this viridian hue to it so the first one is the lightest make sure that this has dried a little and then just go ahead and do your plant like this loosely so i'm just adding drops just figure out how tall you want it to be Just keep on dropping. I'm doing it uh, slightly like a hanging kind of, although this is not a hanging, but uh, the plant is of that variety. It's not a specific plant because we're just doing a loose style. So let's make it go cool. here. Make sure we do the pot. Now we'll just uh, move on to our darker shade. So the same sap green but more pigment and less water. And then we just drop it again. So make sure that this time you have taken a little darker and try not to cover up all the white spaces that we have left. Because they give a nice effect. Here towards the pot, you can make it a little bit darker. This is very simple, we are just going to use three tones or values of the same color. And lastly, we can just again use the same sap cream. With a little black or brown, we can add any of those to make a little bit more olive green. Make sure it's not too black, also. This is nice and dark now. And then this one, we are going to do a few here where you can see a little shadow, so like under the leaves at some places. More of here. A bit more here. Under this. So this can work as a shadow on the leaves as well as shadow on the pot. So a few of this. washing my brush and I think that's it for this and then a little bit of touching on the pot the flower pot wherever you find these gaps so we'll just put some color here a little bit of touching here and then this inside part we will just add a little black to our brown, to our brown tongue.
I think that's it. If you want to add a little base to it, then you can just apply some water. Then next, take any of the black or browns or greys, whatever you want, and then just drop it like this. That's it. Spread it from the sides. Drop it more for like this spots. And that's it. So we are not overdoing this. This is it. This is our mini house plant. And if you want to add flowers, then you can use the same technique which I have used here. And you can use any one color and do three to four values of it to create flowers like this on there on this. And I'll do a little bit touching here. So that looks more fine. that's it and then again as I mentioned before here is my Skillshare class in which I have done a little bit of more house plants so it's a pothos here it's a ZC plant and the snake plant and if you want to try this you can check this out the link is below and if you have liked my work don't forget to subscribe and share my channel with others happy painting and I will see you next Friday bye bye